Sir Knight Marshall, present the commander elect. Ready? Forward. March. Halt. Eminent Commander, I have the honor to present to you <coughs> Sir Knight William Warner Sr., who has been elected to the office of commander of this commandery. Sir Knight Bill, you've been elected the honorable and important station of commander of this commandery, and it is with genuine pleasure that I enter upon the duty of installing you into that exalted office. As the head of a Christian organization, you are charged with important duties and responsibilities. It is confidently anticipated that your fidelity to these trusts will reflect honor to yourself and credit upon your commander. It now becomes my duty to propound to you certain questions to which your unequivocal answers are required. Do you solemnly promise upon your honor as a Knights Templar that you will endeavor to correct vices, purify the morals, and promote the happiness of those of your brethren who have attained this magnanimous order? That you will never suffer your commander to be open unless there are present at least nine regular Knights Templar. That you will not confer the orders upon anyone who has not attained a reasonable proficiency in masonry. That you will promote the general good of the order and on all proper occasions be ready to give and receive instructions, particularly from the grand officers. That to the utmost of your power, you will preserve the solemnities of our ceremonies and behave in open commandery with the most profound respect and reverence as an example to your brethren. That you will not acknowledge or hold communication with any commandery that does not work under a constitutional dispensation or charter. That you will not admit any visitor into your commandery unless he's been knighted in a lawful commandery. That you will pay due respect and obedience to the instructions of the grand officers particularly those relating to the several lectures and charges, and will resign your station to them when any officially visit your commandery. That you will bind your successor in office to the observance of these same rules. Do you confirm to all these promises? And do you agree to observe and practice them faithfully? I do. Sir Knight, you've been chosen by the members of your commandery to fill the most exalted station in their power to bestow. And I now present to you the jewel of your office, which is a passion cross surmounted by rays of light. These rays of light are symbols which are meant to suggest to you humility, love, and the pure benevolence and emanate like rays of light from the religion of the blessed Emmanuel and should ever characterize the members of this Christian order. I present to you the charter of your commander. Receive it as a sacred deposit and never permit it to be used for any purposes other than those expressed therein. And it is your duty to safely transmit it to your successor. I also commit to your keeping the Holy Bible, the great light of Masons of every degree. It confirms our belief 
in the existence of the eternal Jehovah, the one and only living and true God, the creator and judge of all things in heaven and on earth. Across swords, resting upon the Holy Bible, remind us that we should be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, that we should put the whole armor of God to be able to wrestle successfully with principalities, powers, and spiritual wickedness in high places. I also present to you the Constitution and statutes of the Grand Encampment of Knights Templar of the United States of America, the laws and regulations of the Grand Commandery of the State of California, and the bylaws of your commander. You should familiarize yourself with them, the better to improve yourself with the government of your commander. And now, Sir Knight, permit me to induct you into the chair of your commander. I offer you my sincere congratulations on your accession to this time on a chair. It will be your special duty to preserve and violate the laws of the order, to dispense justice, to reward merit, to encourage truth, and to expound the sublime principles of universal benevolence. You will inculcate the duties of charity and hospitality and govern your commandery with justice and moderation. And finally, my brother, May the illustrious lives of the heroes of past ages, whose matchless valor has shed undying luster over the name Knights Templar, encourage and animate you to the faithful performance of every duty. 